Hi, I'm E.D. Lewis, and welcome back to my channel, E.D. Lewis Reviews, um, for another tag video this time around. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you'll get all the notifications when I have a new video, and please uh, like and also comment on the video. So, I just lost some of the books that I am going to talk about. Okay, got them back. <laughs> so, anyway... So I'm doing a tag video this time around, um, and I haven't done a video for about a week or so. I think it's been a little over a week. I've been taking some time for myself, uh, kind of dealing with some things and, you know, trying to get that out of my system, which it's not fully yet, uh, you know, out of my mind, but, um... Uh, it, it's still there, and so I'm, I'm a little better right now, but, you know... Anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about uh, books, because that's what we're here for. So I'm doing a tag video. I was tagged by Rob is Doing Things, and this is the tag video, uh, The Last Ten Books Tag. And this was originally created by Mark Nash. Um, so I'll put a link to that video in there, and I'll put a link also to Rob's video in the description. So, um, I actually don't have an answer for one of these questions, and I will cover that when we get there. But, let's get on with the tag. So, here is the, the last ten books tag. So, number one, uh, the last book you didn't finish. The last book I didn't finish was, and it's on my TBR for this year, because I started it last year, did not finish it, and that is The Tale of the Body Thief by Anne Rice. You know, my, my favorite author. So... I do have this on uh, the TBR for this year, and so I will hopefully, you know, get through it this year. Um, and uh, if Regina of uh, Regina Sound Library is watching, I know you said that you might want to do a buddy read. If you still do, let me know. If not, that's perfectly fine. I just, uh, I'll, I, I just I'll need, need to get with you at that. I'm having a terrible time right now. Uh, words are not coming out very well. So, um, number two, the last book you reread. This book has appeared on several of my videos and several of my uh, tag videos. It's going to pop up again, and there will be another repeat book too. And so, the last book I read, uh, reread, was from last uh, month, and it was my favorite book, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. So, you know, like I said, this is kind of my comfort read, and also this is my favorite book. It would have, I think it would have really helped me if it came out when I was in high school. But, um, it didn't. But I'm glad I discovered it and met the character of Simon when I did. So. Number four. No, I'm sorry, I'm skipping one. Number three, the last book you bought. Since I'm on a book ban right now, although I am earning some allowance back on, uh, books a little bit and maybe soon I can get a couple more books. Um, this is the last book I bought and right after I bought this I'm like okay I need to ban myself for a while from books and then I decided well I can come with an allowance. So the last book I um, bought was The Duke and I, the first book in the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn. It's an awesome book. I actually just did a Reel on Instagram, doing a really quick book short, you know, talking about this book. Uh, I guess you call it a mini review. It's only 12 seconds, but, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, do check out that reel and check out this book. And check out Bridgerton, the, the show on Netflix, too. It's great. Um, so. Um, do, 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 do. Number four now, since I tried to skip it, or skip to it. The last book you read but didn't, uh, did I just write that weird? I think I wrote it down weird. Hold on. Oh, this is the last book that you, uh, claim to have read but didn't. Sorry. I don't have that book. I was reaching out for nothing. So, uh, the last book that I uh, said I read and I didn't was the um, book 
called When the Wind Blows by James Patterson. I mean, I did start it, but I didn't finish it. Oh, maybe this read but didn't finish. Hold on. Well, it's either the book you didn't finish or you claim to have read, but I did start it and I didn't finish it. I just, it wasn't that it was bad and it wasn't that I didn't like James Patterson's writing style. I've never read a James Patterson book before, but I just was not really in the mood for it and I was kind of obligated to read it because someone was like, oh, here, borrow this and and I just, I just wasn't feeling it at the time. It wasn't bad. I liked the story. It's just I didn't get around to finishing it, so I claimed that I had. So, um, but I'll, I'll get that fixed in the, uh, in the description. I'm so sorry about that. Moving on to number five, the last book you wrote in the margins. I don't have that book with me, um, but it's Pride and Prejudice, and it was uh, when I last read it, and that was actually in high school in AP. Uh, literature and composition. That was one of the last books we read for the year and absolutely fell in love with Pride and Prejudice. Not something I would have thought I would have fell in love with, but I did. So, um, but yeah, instead of me writing in the journal, I instead wrote in the book and, um, would turn in the book. And then my instructor, she was, um, she tried to get to mine fairly early so she could get the back, the book back to me so I could um, uh, start reading the next chapters that we were reading, you know, that were, were assigned. So that'd be the last book that I wrote in the margins. Um, I don't do that very often. That was just something that I thought I'd do. Uh, the last book that you had signed, the last book that I had that signed is... I just lost all my books again, is The Bride of Warren by Joseph Hood. Um, this was awesome because I had actually already bought the uh, Kindle version. And so he went ahead and sent me a hard, uh, a hard copy, not hardback, hard copy, physical copy um, of the book. And he signed it too. And uh, it was, it, you know, it came just in time for Christmas. It was just, it was awesome. And I loved, I love uh, signed books. I don't have that many of them, but I have a few and that was just awesome. So that was the last book that I had signed. And it's a great book. Do check it out and do check out his earlier work. Um, my friend, Nick. Uh, so next is number seven. That was number six. And number seven, the last book you lost. The last book that I can remember losing, fiction book, that is. I'm not going to do, uh, I'm not going to do nonfiction in this case, um, would be Fog Island, and I have no idea what I did with it. I can't find it. I had started reading it, didn't get to finish it. For whatever reason, I think school got in the way. And, uh, it's by Marilyn Ross, and if I... I if I can't find the book, someday I'll have to replace it because it's just so upsetting to me that I can't find that book. I'd love to put it on my shelf. On this side, you get toward the bottom. Um, and I'd love to, you know, actually restart it and finish it and do a review on it. But unfortunately, I don't know where it is. All right, number eight. The last book you had to replace... And the last book I had to replace, because I don't know what happened to it, it's another one that got lost, and that would be Dracula the Undead, the sequel to the original classic by Dacre Stoker and Ian Holt. I have no idea what happened to my original copy, but I'm glad I found this in a flea market, and uh, it was for a pretty good price. I would gotten mine new, and so it was like $15, and this was only like two dollars so it was awesome by finding a new copy of this which i'll do a review on someday because i and i am planning on doing a dracula series of videos so um number nine this is the one i don't have an answer for the last book you had an argument over i don't think i've ever argued over a book now i have argued to defend a book actually on one of my videos here but i wouldn't consider that arguing 
about a book necessarily. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if that's exactly what they're going for with that question. I don't know, but that's the one I don't have an answer for. Um, the last book you can, there's number 10, last one, last book you can't get a hold of. And I have read this book and I like this book and did not have high hopes for it. And then I got started with it and I'm like, ooh, it's getting good. It got good really fast. And that's Madam Will You Talk by Mary Stewart. I would love to get a copy of that book. Um, I mean, I could probably find one online, but I have been trying to not find it online. I've been trying to find it, you know, at, you know, like, a used bookstore. And every time I look, nobody has that book. And I just, like, someday I will have to just break down and get it off the internet. But I'd really like to get, find it, you know, in person. But that is the tag. And now I will tag some people. And I didn't really think much about this at first. So, um, I'm going to tag John from Books of Blood if he's watching. And by the way, if any of you who I tag don't want to do this video, you're not obligated to. Um, it's just, you know, uh, I, you know, it's just, it's fun to get tagged and it's fun to tag other people and to do the tag if, if you like doing the tag or if it's, if it's something that you're not interested in, that's perfectly fine. Um, so I am tagging... John from Books of Blood. Um, and I don't know if any of these people have done it yet. So, Nikki from Dark Between Pages. And I'll tag one more. Ooh. I feel like I've tagged Mindy, like, several times already. But I'm going to go ahead and tag Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey. So, those are the three people I'm tagging. Um, and anybody else who wants to do this tag, feel free. Uh, I have been tagged in another tag video, unofficially and officially, uh, by two different people, and I'll be getting ready to do that one fairly soon. I'm not sure when, but I also want to do some reviews, too, so. Anyway, that is the tag video, and, uh, I look forward to reading any comments, if there are any, and seeing you guys next time. So without any more further ado, enjoy your evening, day, morning, whenever you're seeing this. And keep safe and keep reading. Bye-bye.